Hi guys. Well, it's Sunday morning and I usually always cook breakfast with you guys on Sunday morning. Things have changed in my life, as you know. I've been talking about the doctor telling me I need to lose weight and change my lifestyle. So, um, I thought I would show you what I'm going to have for breakfast this morning. Um, now, what I do is probably not 100% right and um, there's probably much healthier options and I know that. I'm trying to right now stay within my calorie count. I actually will start working harder on non-processed foods and not so much sugar and carbs, but you know, we're taking baby steps at this. Um, just to let you know, I did weigh in the other day and I lost two pounds so far and that's in four days. So that's not, you know, that's not very much to judge by as far as I haven't been doing it for a long time, but I am proud of myself that I have stuck with it. So, uh, first thing we're going to do today for my breakfast, instead of two or three eggs, I'm having one. I am going to fry it for what I'm having today, but instead of putting like a tablespoon of butter in my fry pan, I'm just going to use Pam cooking spray, which is zero calories. Um, I saw some people cooking with um, an olive oil spray, and I don't know if that's healthier for me or um, or what. So next time I go to the... Ah! Okay, and I'm going to make my egg over hard today, okay? So, jeez, I've cracked it in the pan there. And I don't know if the um, olive oil spray is healthier or, or what the option is, but I'll check it out next time I go to the grocery store. So, second thing is I have, I'm making myself avocado toast for breakfast this morning. I have my slice of toast here, and it is the Artisano brand, which is white bread, I know, so not really good for me, but I am going to use this loaf up, and this is the first piece of bread I've had since I started. Sorry guys, I'm putting things away as I go. So, and then I'm going to take uh, this avocado, and I'm going to use half of it. I'm just going to... I just cover it down a little so that you can see. I'm hoping this avocado is still good. And it might not be. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's kind of brown, but I'm just going to use this section. And then... I'm going to I'm going to make this work cuz I already put <laughs> I already put it into my calorie content counter. I mean, there's a little bit of it that's still good. And so one thing I, with avocados, I love them, but you know, they go bad pretty fast. So, um all right, I'm going to turn my egg over also. Let it cook on that side a little bit. Turn it off. And I'm going to smash up some avocado here. Darn it. I am going to adjust my thing because eh, that's not good. All right. So I put that I had a half an avocado on my calorie count. And there's no way I ate a half an avocado. And this is nasty. So. I'll just put what I have here, which is about a quarter of an avocado. Well, that was a flopper on our deal, huh? And I'm going to put my egg right on top. breakfast right here and it's a slice of bread about a quarter of a avocado and one fried egg so it was going to be a total of 430 calories 
but now that I only have like a quarter of an avocado instead of a half of an avocado, it's only going to be 120 calories for that. So it's about 310 calories for this today. So that's my breakfast for this morning, you guys, and I am doing well. So uh, I am getting used to having smaller portions and not eating in between meals. And so I just thought I would share my very uneventful breakfast <laughs> with you and uh, and I'll be back to show you what I have for lunch okay hi guys well I'm back for lunch so I thought I would show you my lunch um it is so windy outside <laughs> that I don't even want to go outside but there are a couple things I want to pick up at the at the grocery store so I make myself a list and they said it's supposed to calm down tomorrow so I might even just wait till tomorrow to go to the grocery store but so my lunch is very light today um and if i am hungry after just this i will go back and get like uh, one of my little individual salads that i have and what i wanted to go to the grocery store for was i would have liked to have had just a couple slices of turkey meat uh, just rolled up by itself to eat along with this but i am having some of this vanilla greek yogurt in this container is 125 calories and then I have some of this French uh, French vanilla almond granola it's quite high in calories if you eat a lot of it um, but this is a quarter cup that I'm gonna put into my yogurt and that is 125 calories as well so that is um, a 250 calories for my lunch and that leaves me like 693 calories for my dinner which is a lot um, from what I've been working with before. So like I said, if I'm still hungry after this, I'll have a salad. But I do want to go into town and get some um, turkey meat at the um, deli part and maybe even some ham, I'll see. Um, just so I have that. I could have rolled a couple slices of that up and had it with my yogurt, but I don't have it here on hand. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that's my light lunch and I'll be back to show you my dinner. Okay, bye guys. Okay, you guys, I was still a little hungry after my yogurt and um, granola. So this whole bowl of food right here, I, I won't be able to eat all of this probably. I cut up a half a cucumber, and that was literally uh, like 15 calories. Um, underneath it, I cut up a yellow bell pepper. That was 14 calories. I have 10 of these little carrots, and that was 35 calories. And then I have um, a half a cup of grapes which was 50 calories, and just some pickled garlic. I love pickled garlic, and that was about 10 calories. So um, the biggest amount of calories, of course, came from the fruit, which was the grapes. And um, But I'm still a little hungry after my yogurt, and I don't think that will tie me over all the way till dinner. So I am going to have this. It's amazing um, the difference in calories when you're eating fresh as opposed to processed like chips or pop tarts or cookies or something like that so anyways i thought i would share that with you and um i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my lunch okay guys here's my dinner on the right there is um it's called the smart ones and it's broccoli and cheddar and potatoes it's 190 calories for that over here i have a lettuce wrap with a turkey burger in it the turkey burger was 170 calories um, and then I did not add any kind of dressings whatsoever. I did add um, one slice of Colby Jack cheese which I counted and that was 110 calories and so I don't have my total count for the day but I did do my app and I still had 156 calories left for the day so I'm super proud of myself. This is day five I am eating quite early. It's only five o'clock because I am hungry. And I'm thinking I'm really hungry because um, breakfast and lunch did not have a whole lot of protein in it. I did have an egg for breakfast with the toast and then I did have a Greek yogurt with all the um, vegetables and a little bit of grapes. But um, it definitely has burned through me faster than if I had more protein. So this is my dinner. And hopefully I can get through all the way until morning time. But if I'm super starving, I do have 156 calories and I'm going to use them. 
even if it <laughs> is considered a snack. Sorry, that's Buster coughing. Um, <laughs> he just had a drink of water. Okay, Buster. But anyways, all right, you guys, this was my um, day today. I am proud of myself. It's so windy outside that I didn't go walking, but I did stick to my calorie count. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.